So today we're going to open this ammeter and see what's inside. So ammeter is a device which is used to measure the current going to a load. So usually the ammeters are connected in series. As you can see the one I have here is an AC ammeter. So you can tell that this is an AC ammeter by seeing the sine wave mentioned below the A. Usually the ammeter resistance should be as low as possible. Ideally it is given as 0 ohms. But uh, usually the ammeters which are available outside won't give 0 ohms. Let's measure the resistance of this ammeter using a digital multimeter. So I kept the multimeter in 200 ohms mode. Let's measure the resistance. So as you can see it says 2.6 ohms approximately. The resistance is quite low and that is a good sign. So as you can see there is a small screw uh, given here which is used to um, change the precision of this ammeter. You can see that the ammeter is not pointing at zero right now but it should actually point at zero in the, in the uh, ideal state. Let's change that by turning this screw. So as you can see that as I turn the screw the pointer turns. I can keep it at any value as I want. So now I'm going to keep it at 0 amps. That's close to 0 amps. So this screw helps in uh, keeping the value as close as possible. But usually these meters are, are not as accurate as these digital multimeters. So usually people these days prefer these digital multimeters over these ammeters. But in olden days we only had these uh, ammeters to use and even the uh, voltmeters were given in this analog uh, mode. So let's open this and see what's inside. So first we'll remove the front panel and uh, as you can see it's a lock type of uh, joint. We'll just try this open. And this front panel comes off simple. Uh, so this is the panel where the readings are given and as you can see this is the pointer. And this is the one which is used to control the pointer. As you can see, there's a small uh, hole here, which uh, actually sits in this pivot here. This one. So as I turn that pivot, this piece turns and the pointer is changed. So let's open this meter and see what's inside. So as you can see, this piece comes up. So as you have already seen that this is a 0 to 5 amps rated ammeter and so this is the piece that moves, we'll slowly remove it and that simply comes out. So keeping that aside, uh, first we'll see the coil here. So as you can see that the wire used here is a uh, probably a 20 to 23 gauge uh, copper wire, enamel copper wire and so it's just a simple uh, coil. Uh, wound around this small plastic thing and two ends are connected to the two uh, bolts. So whenever I pass the current through this meter into the load, the current passes through this wire generating a magnetic field here. So this magnetic field probably turns the uh, pointer. Let's see the pointer piece here. So this is the pointer. So as you can see closely here that there is a small solder kept on this other end of this pointer. So that's not a defect. Uh, the solder is added there so that uh, it can balance the weight of this pointer and the pointer can move freely. So there is a small spring here on the side of this uh, pointer which uh, actually recoils this pointer back to zero once the current is stopped. And you can see that there is a small metal plate here attached to this pointer. So whenever I turn this pointer, that metal plate also is moving. So that metal plate directly goes inside this coil. So when I pass the current, a magnetic field is generated which attracts that metal plate here inside. And that metal plate attraction uh, generates motion in the pointer which actually causes the multimeter shoot to show the values. So I don't know if you can see but there is also metal plate around this circle inside here. So there is a metal plate inside here which I think probably is used to generate the magnetic field or uh, extend the magnetic field from the coil to the magnetic to the pointer. So because so to attack the pointer they added a small metal plate along the surface inside of this uh, cylinder and between those uh, between that metal cylinder 
there is a small metal plate kept perpendicular to that cylinder which is attached to this pointer. You can see the plate moving whenever I turn the pointer. And this piece here, this is the metal plate lining all the su internal surface of this cylinder. Now let's fit this back. So that was the teardown of uh, ammeter and if you like this video you might like some of my other videos too. Please subscribe to the channel for my future videos. Thank you and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.